Hey YouTubers, built a, another badass ZVS driver. Actually, it's a rebuilt. Um, decided to put it on a nice big fat heat sink with a uh, 12 volt fan that's independent of all the other power sources. Um, although, Maker J101 says puts 12 volts to his and uh, high one voltage one rules Anthony. I think he does the same too, but uh, haven't tried it yet. But that wire is on reserve. Um, they are insulated from each other. Um, does have an insulating pad over there, so you guys can see it. Let me turn that other light on. Oh, and this other light was a LCD TV. That's crazy bright, way brighter than this. Uh, Want to be fluorescent over here that's sucking more and more power. This is way more efficient. So, back to this. Um, went and got some 5 watt 1K resistors for the gates. The uh, other diodes are 600 volt fast diodes, I think, and 15 volt zeners, and a little baby 10Ks across with the uh, zener like it's supposed to be and the inductor that i have with the nice heavy gauge wire is uh, mounted on there and i believe this uh, metal through the center of it kind of keeps the current in check so here we go power on oh, here we go. Into 2376 Uh, the caps I got today are 0.68 and two in parallel. Uh, I believe this has 5.5 .5 turns if I remember right. Might be 4 plus 4. Um, I think this gap said about, right at about an inch and a quarter. So, turn that down, power on. Started out about 36. This power supply is not very good, even though it puts out 60 volts. The average ain't all that great. I, I can push about 8, 9, 10 amps from it, but it gets pretty hot. And I'm still worried about this pulling more than it's rated for. Anthony High One Voltage One Rule says they're good for about 15 amps for at least 10 minutes at a time. So, the ATX is uh, to keep this thing cool, and the uh, the back slots of the ATX are blowing on the Variac also. These are audio caps for the uh, you guys that like the bumpity bump, but I have other uses to keep DC voltage smooth on my miniature ZVS driver. Which will be uh, paralleled soon because these survived the last run and the Zeners didn't. Oh, maybe the next video would be a uh, induction heating where I can melt some stuff for you guys. I think I've already pushed about 400 watts through the last one before it died of heat. So here we go. Powering on. Power supply drops to about 17 volts. Oh, one other thing. My cheap and cheesy uh, yeah, can think for a second. My DIY oscilloscope that's you know just tied across the coil on it, like in some of the other YouTube videos. So it doesn't read like a regular scope. It just, there's no adjustment to it, but got these resistors across the uh, capacitor, you know, two taps into this, 
And it gives me a nice little signal that you guys can see here in a minute. So here we go. 36 volts. Pulling out 5 amps. Hovering. Nice little arc there. Nice and juicy. Turn the light off. That's drawing about two amps without an arc going. A nice bit of corona here. Let's kick things up a notch. There we go. That's better. Nice strong signal there. Some juicy arcs here. Yeah, that's hovering around 8 amps, guys. Not too bad. Wow. Hope you guys can see this on the video. That is a lot of corona. I think I'm drawing that arc about two and a half, three inches. Holy moly. Well, and these are uh, initial tests of this new setup today. So far, everything's staying pretty cool. Check temps right now. Nice cold. And Doctor is still cold. That screw and that nail. I don't want to touch it. There we go again. 38 volts in. Oh, and uh, no ringing in the circuit. Yeah, let's unplug this fan. Only noise you guys can hear is the ATX. Right there, it's pulling about four and a quarter amps. Mm, turn the dial up. Forty three volts in. Ooh, I guess I lost my signal there. Resistor melted away. That's okay. I ain't gonna melt the TV. There we go, 40 volts. Ooh, nine amps. And a whole bunch of Corona. 42 volts and they're still surviving right now.
That arc started over two inches away. Oh boy. Let's try that again. I'm gonna stand back and show you guys the voltage when it strikes. Get the voltage in the, in the same shot. Wow. Just a second ago, I seen the uh, Corona starting to move the oil. And I'm seeing bubbles. That means my primary might be getting a little hot. That's not good. You know, the oil's room temperature, that's not good because it was cold earlier. So I'm gonna let things cool down. I got about three minutes left on my memory card. And uh, let me know what you think, guys. Build it, run it. It only wants about 10 amps. Have a good one, guys. TVS drivers rule.